So, when, when Syntarsis first emerged, Coelophysis long united must divide. There was just Coelophysis bori, the other species were no longer valid. So then Roth named Syntarsis rhodesiensis, but then Gregory Paul argued that really that should be Coelophysis rhodesiensis. Then Roe named Syntarsis cayantacate. Next, authors named Hunt and Lucas argued that because Cope's original material for Coelophysis bori isn't actually diagnostic, we should just call this animal Rio Arribasaurus colderti. Paul agreed that we should keep the specific name Colberti, but called all three species genus Syntarsis, which is how it stood when the bug people came in and renamed both species of Syntarsis to Megapnosaurus, but as far as I know left Coelophysis bori alone. Next, Bristow and Roth argued that bori and Rhodesiensis are genus Coelophysis, but Coelophysis question mark Kyantakate gets its question mark. Next, Yates re-examined South African material of Coelophysis rhodesiensis and determined that it was actually Dracovenator, which is not even a Coelophysoid. Gay re-examined juvenile specimens of Coelophysis question mark Kyantakate and found similarly that that is Kyantivenator, which is also not a Coelophysoid. There are problems with that paper though. And finally, Martinez and Apoldetti's phylogenetic analysis of their new genus Luciano venator found that Megapnosaurus is a separate genus from Coelophysis, and also Syntarsis, in quotes, is a separate genus from either of them, which is more or less how things stand now.